My name is uh, Boumedian Hamzi and come, I'm currently a micro fellow at the Department of uh, Mathematics of Imperial College London. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this booth on uh, the special interest group on machine learning and dynamical systems that is uh, hosted by the Alan Turing Institute and that I am uh, coordinating with uh, Robert Mackey from the University of Warwick. The main question that we are dealing with uh, here in this special interest group is uh, about how uh, to analyze complex systems. There are a lot of approaches uh, to this problem and uh, the main ones that we'll be focusing on are the theory of dynamical systems and uh, machine learning. The theory of dynamical systems has been essentially uh, developed in the late 1800s by uh, Poincaré and, uh, and Lyapunov and it allows to uh, analyze complex systems when the model is known. Uh, it offers uh, non-trivial ways to analyze dynamical systems. It has the status uh, of uh, theory and offers many methodologies. And currently, uh, however, it is limited to uh, low-dimensional low dimensional, uh, models. Uh, on the other side, machine learning is a data-based uh, field. Uh, it is concerned with the algorithms designed to accomplish a certain task uh, whose performance improves uh, with the input of more data. It allows the analysis of uh, some very high dimensional complex systems on the basis of data when the model is not even known. Uh, however, it has uh, limitations uh, so that it is mostly a set of techniques and algorithms. There are no methodologies and the theory is still uh, underdeveloped. Uh, it is not clear uh, why the algorithms work and why, what is their domain of applicability. So here it makes sense to combine between the two approaches and uh, strengthen each other uh, by the other uh, field. And uh, this is, uh, makes sense uh, from the point of view of uh, philosophy of science. Uh, as we know in epistemology and in uh, philosophy of science in particular, uh, there are two uh, main schools, the one of rationalism and the one of uh, empiricism and they have uh, different ways of looking at the world around us. Uh, the theory of dynamical systems is uh, essentially coming from rationalism and machine learning is uh, coming from empiricism. And uh, most of uh, modern science are... Uh, the, most of the approaches in modern science are based on uh, combining uh, between a little bit of uh, empiricism and a little, little bit of uh, rationalism like in uh, mathematical physics. So here in this uh, special interest group, we are interested in uh, filling the gap between these two fields in the following directions. First one is the one of machine learning for dynamical systems, where the goal is uh, to analyze dynamical systems on the basis of uh, observed uh, data rather than attempt to study them analytically. So this would allow to extend the boundaries of the classical theory of dynamical systems and go uh, and uh, to, uh, to high dimensions, for example. And uh, the other direction is dynamical systems for machine learning, where the goal is to analyze the algorithm or machine learning using tools from the theory of dynamical systems, where uh, algorithms are viewed as uh, dynamical systems. And uh, here, time uh, for algorithms is not exactly the time on the watch, but the time uh, on the computer. And this would allow to give uh, solid foundations to the existing methods and understand their true potential and limits and uh, with the ultimate goal of identifying the domain of applicability of uh, the algorithms in uh, machine learning. So this problem uh, is an important one from the mathematical uh, point of view. Uh, so it has been pointed out by Steve Smale uh, like many years ago, in the early 2000s, that the unification of dynamical systems and learning uh, is a major problem. And uh, another problem is to develop a uh, comparative uh, study of useful algorithms currently available and to give them uh, unity. So uh, speaking of Steve Smale, it was uh, through uh, his encouragement that uh, I got into the field uh, personally uh, in, uh, yeah, in the period 2008-2009. I mean, I had discussions with uh, Jake Bouvry, uh, who was uh, collaborating with Steve Smale on the mathematics of uh, neuroscience. And then Steve Smale encouraged us to uh, to pursue this direction at the intersection of uh, learning theory and, uh, and dynamical systems. And uh, yeah, so this is how we end up having a, a paper in 2010, which uh, where we start exploring kernel methods for dynamical systems. Uh, so kernel methods uh, for dynamical systems is uh, my uh, current uh, research interest that I've been working on for the last uh, 10 years. 
and but it's only one particular point of view on uh, on this intersection of machine learning and dynamic systems. And then there have been uh, yeah, in the recent years a lot of uh, approaches, and uh, this is how uh, how we end up uh, organizing uh, two uh, symposia where I was the lead uh, organizer. The first one was in 2009, uh, 2019, sorry, at the Imperial College in London, and then the second one was uh, online in 2020, and that it was hosted by the Fields Institute. So in uh, so the latest one we had uh, about 100 uh, speakers and about 900 uh, participants, and you can find all the talks online at this website. Uh, the website of the Special Interest Group is the, on the Turing uh, website, and the address is given on the, on the slide here. Uh, since October, uh, there have been a lot of seminars uh, that have been organized uh, regularly, and uh, the recordings are available on the, on the following YouTube channel. Uh, there is a project on ResearchGate where you find uh, preprints and, uh, and articles on this, uh, in this area. And uh, finally, for updates about the SIG, and uh, if you want to uh, be involved in one way or the other, give a talk, or if you have problems that you are interested in solving, then please, uh, please feel free to uh, contact me at uh, this email address. Thank you, and uh, take care.